up everybody? My name is Ryan Pauly. Thanks for joining and watching this episode. We're gonna be discussing a conversation I actually had on Instagram. I normally don't get into conversations there and I'll talk about why in a future video, uh, but I was brought in and so I had a, a few back and forth and you can actually see this conversation on my Instagram channel. But I wanna first in this video discuss the content of the conversation and then I'll talk about some strategies in having those conversations in future videos. So the initial claim was made that Jesus is just a recycled God. All these dying and rising gods that you see in all this other pagan mythology, the same is true with Jesus. And if you're not quite sure what to believe, you see some of these details and you realize, wow, they, these might sound or they do sound very similar to Jesus. What am I supposed to do? Well, there are three things in response to this. First is this. There are no pre-Jesus documented resurrection stories. What I mean by this is, yes, the stories come from before Jesus as they're told, but we have nothing documented in writing, no, no pictures or anything that document a dying and rising God pre-resurrection of Jesus. In fact, these come in like the second to fourth century. So what does that mean? Most likely these stories were changed because of the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus was not changed because of these stories. That's the first thing that we need to point out. And that's what you'll see in this conversation. I kept asking over and over again, give me one pre-Jesus documented resurrection and the guy couldn't do it. In fact, he, he finally admitted there is no evidence for this and that's why he couldn't give it to me. The second thing with this dying and rising God objection is that it picks and chooses a lot of these details. When you really look at these gods, they don't match. They're not even close. What, what's talking about dying and rising is very different than Jesus. What's being talked about being born of a virgin is different than what we mean about Jesus being born of a virgin. Now, you're going to see these similarities in some of these stories, right? If you're trying to create this amazing figure that is supposedly this God, you're going to have the all-powerful. You're going to have these crazy things said about him. So we should expect some similarities, but what you'll see with Jesus is what they mean by virgin is very different. What they mean by dying or rising from the dead is very different. And so that's important to see how they pick and choose these details. Finally, the third point is this, just because a story comes before an actual story doesn't mean the actual event is false. And a good example of this is actually the seeking of the Titan or the futility. It's a story that came slightly before the sinking of the Titanic, and it almost matches perfectly the story of the Titanic, about a ship on its maiden voyage and, and a lot of people dying because of not enough lifeboats. And you hear about it, and if you just read through the details, you go, that's the Titanic. But instead, it was actually a made-up story written before the Titanic sank. Now, just because the made-up false story was written before the Titanic, does that mean the Titanic is therefore, therefore false? No, of course not. We have historical evidence supporting the seeking of the Titanic, and even though there's an almost identical story that happened before that is fake, does not mean the Titanic is fake. And so just because even if, which they're not, but even if these stories predated Jesus, doesn't mean the Jesus story is false. What you have to do is look at the evidence. Is there evidence for these other stories? No. Is there evidence for the death and resurrection of Jesus? Overwhelming, and you can see that at my channel. So. Follow, subscribe, check out those links and get more resources on the resurrection down in the end below where you can see that there is historical evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. Thanks for watching.